hello and welcome back to VBA A to Z uh, in this short video I'm gonna show you how to manipulate uh, and use some of the functions uh, that will help you identify the last date the last row with the data and the column as well as well as some additional information that will help you when you're working with uh, data in your uh, Excel spreadsheet so Many people come to me and say like uh, their code stop working because they simply record it and uh, the next time your data increase it doesn't pick up the additional range. So in this video I will be helping you to identify or create your own function or uh, give you an idea so that you can create your own uh, so that every time you run your code which uh, let's say that you have a pivot table uh, that needs to be uh, that needs an up, you know the source update uh, every time the, the data is added or uh, you can uh, like uh, let's say you're filtering on the data table or you're sorting your table so you always need to find out what is the last row uh, which is the data so that uh, you can uh, include them in your micro or in your code so um, I'm just gonna uh, here I've listed the topic uh, which I'll be covering in this particular video so I'll, we'll be using the use range um, to find out and I'll be uh, also letting you know some of the challenges that you might face or some of the things you should look out for so um, all right, so um, coming to this data, I'll just uh, show you one thing, and then we'll proceed with uh, some of the functions I put together. So I'm just gonna record a simple uh, code that will sort my data um, in this table, and I'll just show you uh, how it works. Um, so just click on OK, and I'll be just selecting my whole range and I'll sort my data so I want to first sort it by company and then by the job title just click on OK so if you're new to uh, VBA and you're trying to improve on uh, the things you do so if you have a dual monitor always open this BB uh, BB editor or the project uh, explorer so that you can see uh, how it's been uh, all the syntax that is uh, it generates as you record each and everything so you'll be able to see them so this is the code that is being recorded so if I just select A1 it's gonna say range A1 dot select so um just just uh going off the topic but uh this uh, just a tip there if you uh, want to see how the syntax are getting created and how uh, each of the line is supposed to do uh in the code so i'm just gonna stop my recording i'm gonna remove all the useless codes and for example let's say that you have created this code and um um you run it again the next time when the data is increased so let's say that i have uh, increased the data and then let's say that these are some new users in my database so let's say a new this is just an example so what will happen if I run this code now is if I just execute this code by pressing selecting the code and pressing F5 or running it from here it will it will still sort the table but as you see that um, the last four rows of data is not sorted that is because this particular code is just considering till row number 41 so that is what I'm gonna tell you uh, on how to find that the last row which has a data in it so there are different ways to find it out 
um, I've put in a few things together to save us some time um, I've uh, put in some of the things that you need to keep in mind on top of the module so that um, uh, you should pay attention to them uh, when you're doing it okay so how did I come up with this syntaxes so first thing I'll just walk you through this uh, finding the last row in the column uh, where you have specified uh, the last row based on which column so for example um, in this particular data set it's possible that there are some of the columns which are blank so um, sometime um, there are multiple ways to find it out but in this particular method in this particular uh, function I want to uh, find it out based on the column so basically I'm using column number A um, to find out the last data so if I put any data here within this particular row it will find out um, in the table which of these rows has the data the last row which has the data so um, here is the syntax here is what I use it this is the one range a and rows dot count excel up dot row how did I find this syntax so basically what I'm doing here is I'm saying that from range and rows dot count rows dot count basically um, to get to this window is uh, just press ctrl G ctrl and G and then you have this so rows dot count will give me the total rows that is available in this particular sheet and then basically what I'm saying is go to range A and then this so if I do it by myself F5 and then A and this go here and then from the end Excel up so it's saying from here just press control and up arrow key and this will give me my last uh, um, row with data so if I have to record this I will just say um, just test one and F5 I'll try to go to the bottom of the this and then I'll come up from there and then I'll see the syntax it generated so it says uh, go to this so this is in um, um, r1c1 um, method uh, basically it's saying go to this particular cell and come up from there so basically if you look at this I'm just gonna stop my recording and look at the syntax I put together so basically this is a combination of both so this is how you can um, find it out similarly um, for the columns I'm going to columns that count I'm going to the extreme extreme right and and then from here I am doing control pressing the control key and the left arrow key that will give me the last column uh, for the specified row so here I'm using uh, this number two and the column A here are uh, like my variables so you can change them as part of your requirement so let's say that I just use this syntax so if you want this to refer to the specific sheet then you should specify them when you're writing the code so in this scenario we want to use the customer so if I run this code now let's put a breakpoint to this and run it so LR is 47 so the last row with the data is row number 47 here right and uh, if I do column it's uh, column number 18 so here it is you can see the count so that's column number 18 and um, just to test it out again 
I'll just add additional information. So I want to return 59 now because that's where the data is. So if I run this again and just place your cursor above your variable, you'll be able to see um, 59 is what it is. The column still remains the same. Um, so how do you use this? How can you use this in your code? So just simply copy this this particular line and go to the code where uh, where uh, in which you have recorded right now dim lrs long so I'm defining my, that my variable uh, type is data type is long and that uh, that particular variable value should be from customer data tab or sheet and from range column number A and rows dot count I want to come up and wherever the cursor reaches that will be my last row so if I just remove this and just add one more line here let's call this 5 and then so basically I have to remove all this 41 which was the prior uh, hard-coded recorded uh, line so You don't even need to select here. Uh, simply to say, uh, I have to select the sheet first so that it doesn't go to another tab and start trying to sort the data there. Okay, so basically, I have to bring in this uh, LR variable into my code. So I'll remove 41 and then I'll concatenate and say this. So basically what is going to return this is going to return is if I run this now let's put a breakpoint and if I run this now my LR is 46 so this is 46 and if I just try to debug this in my immediate window it will return me B2 is to B46 so that's how it works so all this 40, 41 I'll just put an LR so basically I'll remove 40 I'll remove 41 and I'll simply concatenate them so watch out for the hard-coded values like this and just add uh, an LR so LR will represent the row number this is A1 from range A1 till column number R, column R and the last row. So if I run this now, it's gonna sort my table uh, including all this, uh, the last row of data. So let's go ahead and test it out. So the first line is just clearing the sort, which is applied earlier, and then the second line here is putting a sort on column number B and then F so that will be the job title the first one will be the company and then the second one is gonna be uh, your job title so let's go ahead and try and run this so sort my data for example so let's run this select this and click on run or F5 now if I come down here you'll see that uh, that it's it is sorted and then it is in, you see that the new user that you've added has uh, been sorted so that's one way that's one way of using the LR um, that we have just um, uh, created uh, please feel free to reach out to me for any questions uh, email me or just comment on the video and um, okay so coming back to this so I'll be including this in my blog uh, if you don't uh, know my blog it's uh, bba a to z uh, at wordpress.com so I'll include this in the description as well of the video so please feel free to go there and uh, get a code 
the code, the script for yourself. 